What's going on, everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is Sunday evening. Uh, just had a nice cigar, a Leva a Siri. Uh, and I'm probably going to head out to Sip Whiskey Bar, have myself a nice drink, hang out with some friends. Uh, but the reason why I want to make this video is a lot of you people have been writing me uh, stating that, you know, Richard had once again hurt himself uh, doing squats and ended up in the hospital, carried off in a stretcher. First off, I never wish any ill will towards him uh, as much as I don't like him and despise him. Uh, for his activities. I sent him well wishes, told him just to uh, rest up and ice up, plain and simple. That's what you got to do uh, when you are injured. But the reason why I'm making this video is that, you know, it was just a week ago that we had our debate and I had explained to him uh, the harms of his diet, you know, a lot of people have also warned him about uh, his diet as well, which is a big factor as far as to why he's getting injured. Now, during the debate, I explained to him, number one, uh, that his diet was deficient in bioavailability as in terms of complete protein. Now, the truth is you don't really need that much protein in order to build muscle and also give it the ability to recover from strenuous workouts, but you still need to have that complete protein source. And Richard, uh, you know, his diet is full of sugary snacks, is full of cookies and cakes and everything like that. You know, none of it is going to be protein. Or if it's if it has protein such as any type of pea or beans or soy or anything like that. These are simply incomplete protein sources. They do not have the bioavailability uh, for complete protein. Even if you get the mixes correctly, you know, like I said, while you don't need much protein, uh, excuse me, and I'm gonna stress this again, while you don't need as much complete protein, in order to build muscle and recover from strenuous workouts, you still need sufficient protein. And when you're practicing a vegan diet, it's very hard just to simply hit those numbers. And it's pretty clear that based on all the injuries that he's actually had, you know, this one being the latest one, it's just a clear example that his vegan diet isn't working one bit and this is what i explained to him during the debate not only that i explained to him and i've said this numerous times you can't just take supplements you know you just simply can't supplements are just that they are to supplement a complete diet period you cannot just bullshit around uh with it and just think that supplements are going to be a source of having a complete meal. It just simply isn't. Plain and simple. One thing that I think also factored in is, you know, I explained to him as a supplement company owner who has sold supplements for 20 years that a lot of vegan proteins that I actually uh, procured from, I had to make sure that they were from the right sources. They didn't have oxytocin in it, which you know, he had to run to Google and find out about that because, you know, the truth of the matter is a lot of these uh, vegan proteins that are generally on the market that are cheap and inexpensive, you know, they really don't even have any protein whatsoever. They're just fake products, you know, just literally fake. That's why I had to do all my checks and balances. And that's why my vegan protein products were more expensive than others. And I had to mark down the prices lower in order to make them somewhat affordable, you know, less profit taken from me. Uh, Richard, on the other hand, stated that 
you know, he just shopped around and got what he got, basically. And the thing about it is, is that if you're not buying a high quality vegan protein uh, source, even though it's still an inferior source, you're only making matters worse when you're getting the real cheap stuff because it's going to be cheap for two reasons. Number one, we mark it down, which is what I do. I'm not going to do like Frank Tofano and just sell whatever garbage comes out. But also, the other way you can have cheap vegan products is if it's just cheaply made. You know, plain and simple. Now, with that being said, you know, I've already discussed the supplements once again. And this is strictly directly towards these vegans out here who think that they can build a strong and powerful physique with a vegan diet. You just simply can't. You need complete protein sources. Not only that, his diet is lacking in the bioavailability to build proper connective tissue. You can only do that with, you know, sufficient protein sources, period. You know, he's not recovering. He's not getting some of the essential things that, you know, I didn't even bring up, such as collagen, for example. Collagen is very important for the joints. It allows you to do heavy lifting, allows you also to cushion your joints. You need collagen. But collagen comes from bones and gelatin. It comes from animal sources. Now, they have vegetable collagen, but it's just not the same. It's not the same as real animal-based collagen. So with the combination of all of the things that I've just mentioned, you know, to conclude, this is, this is why he's getting hurt for, you know, that's why he's having all these injuries. He's having these sores, these twinges in his shoulders, you know, is not only his diet and, you know, you also have to point out the way he lives. He lives very horribly. He does some pretty bad lifts. He, his bench presses, no arch in the back or anything like that. He's putting more weight on the shoulder. That's why he's having shoulder problems, you know. And I'm not making this video just to gloat over, you know, things that I discuss and debate. This is not about winning the debate whatsoever. I don't ever want to win a debate. I simply just want to educate people. That's it, you know. So to all you vegan people that said I'm wrong... That's perfectly fine. You'll probably say that I'm wrong still, even after I make this video. But there's not really much that Richard can actually do about it because here's the thing. He has over 300,000 subscribers. He's too heavily invested in this vegan diet, so he has to follow all the way through, period. He can't deviate from the path that he's already created because if he did... He would be admitting he's wrong and he would lose all his fans. He would lose his main source of income. So as far as Richard is concerned, there's very little hope. I mean, Frank Tofano did that when he was doing promoting that carnivore diet. He realized his diet was shit and he made the wise decision to uh, get off the carnivore diet. As a result, people like Sean Baker went and tore him a new one. And he lost a lot of fans, but at least he's a little bit healthier. Still a little bit goofy, but, you know, but he made the right decision. I hope Richard makes that same decision, you know, and realize that, you know, having that source of income, having all those subscribers are simply not worth it. So, but I don't think that's going to really happen. It's really too late for Richard, but it's not too late for you. So here's what I'm going to recommend doing. If you love the animals, you don't want to kill any animals, do like the Hindus do in India. And there's a lot of misconception. A lot of people wrote me about, well, Hindus follow a vegan diet. You are wrong. They don't follow a vegan diet. There's only a small percentage, maybe one or two percent of them that follow a true vegan diet. Most of them will drink goat's milk instead to get their complete sources of protein, you know? And then some of them are lacto-octo, you know, to where they'll drink goat's milk, they will have eggs, and they will have other meat sources there, you know? I mean, and you can go and watch some Indian cooking recipes, a lot of them have meat in them, you know? 
They have beans, they have curry, and they have meat in them. And so, you know, most Indians, you know, they have complete protein in their diet. They eat meat. Most Hindus, you know, they don't eat meat or anything, and they don't eat cow or beef or anything like that, but they drink goat's milk in order to get their source of complete protein. That's what you need, people. You need complete protein. So while Richard is too far invested into his vegan diet, he's got to follow it without deviation unless he wants to get a job or uh, get ostracized by the vegan community uh, simply because he's been promoting and thrashing and bashing other vegetarians and vegans. He's just too heavily invested in it, but not you, the people. You know, you have no investment in the vegan diet, so it's not too late for you, the people, to change your ways. You know, I've tried to advise Richard, I've tried to advise all of you vegans, I've tried to educate you as best as I can. At the end of the day, my job is not to win the base, my job is to educate. My job is to educate others based on my personal experience, my, you know, not just dieting, but also trial and error. Like I said, I followed a vegan diet back in the late 90s for two years. And I thought it was working at the time, but it hindered my training efforts. So I got off of the vegan diet. I did do a vegetarian diet actually for about four years and it was just fine, but you know, I decided to pick back up on things when I decided I wanted to uh, get back to competing, you know, needed those complete sor sources of protein, you know, and I was just following the Beverly diet, which is 50% protein, 30% fat, and 20% uh, carbohydrates. That's the Beverly nutrition uh, diet, by the way. You're welcome to go look up at Beverly International. Uh, they make a great they, they make a great line of supplements here. Love the company. I've loved them for years. You know, they sell some of those old school, you know, bodybuilding and fitness products. Love the company. You guys ought to check them out, by the way. And no, I'm not endorsing the company whatsoever. You know, at the bottom of my channel, you know, you won't see a link to Beverly Nutrition. I'm just giving a general example. I'm just giving you something to think about. That's all I'm doing. So if you want to stay vegan and you care about the animals, perfectly fine. Get a complete source of protein. Do like the Hindus. Uh, put yourself in a position of where you have some goat's milk. You'll have that complete protein source and you will not end up with the fallacies that Richard actually has. He's too invested in the vegan diet. There's nothing he can, you, he can do about it. You know, he's way too invested, but not you the people. But think about it for a minute. And again, for you people that thought I lost a debate, like I said before, I've only lost two debates in my time. Only two. Last week was not three. I'm still standing at two. Period. But that's all I got to say. You can roll with the great one or you can get rolled over. Take care.